Hi guys. Welcome back. I am sorry once again that I've been away forever. Um, <laughs> it's because my house is always noisy during the day. My husband's here. He can't go 20 minutes without yelling for me or he's got his music too loud or I mean he's like partially deaf which I'm not saying that to be funny he is partially deaf so everything he does is loud so he can hear it and then the acoustics in my house are terrible so I can hear everything that goes on in this house and I do mean everything much to my dismay sometimes I wish I was the one that was deaf and then I've got um, my stepson living here too so it's like two grown men in the house 24 7 and at night is the only time I get peace and quiet if the dogs don't run out <laughs> And I have no light because it's pitch black outside. This house, for, ever, for whatever reason, is just dark. And I've got my, my O light over here that's, oh my gosh, it's bright. But like I said, this is the only time I have. So you get like my ghost face and my hands and you can't really see anything else. Which is probably a good thing because I'm not one for uh, cleaning. But but that's because I do it when I'm by myself and I'm never by myself. Anyways. Um, I just wanted to touch base with you guys. Um, I know. It, it's been a while. It takes me so long and it's so frustrating to set up my camera and the lighting so you can see me. Um, which, come to think of it, maybe that's a bad thing. <laughs> maybe I need to reverse that a little. Um, just, you know, have a picture of my dog or something and have me talk to me in the background. Hey, Jasper. Um, but anyways, um, I just, it is the first week of December. The first week of December is almost over and I just put up my Christmas tree. And this is the first um, year that my son hasn't been here. Um, he's got his job and he lives in Huntsville and um, I mean he's doing great but he's not here all the weekend like you know when he went to college he would come home for the weekends or um, I mean you know and now he's like an hour and a half away which is not too long but it's it's enough that you don't want to come to your parents every weekend you know um, but um, when you're a parent, your children are why you get so excited about Christmas, or at least for me, it was why. And because growing up, Christmas was such a magical, fantastic time. I mean, the stores would be all decked out and lights and Christmas music and um, it would be cold out and snowing because I'm from Ohio and that's what it does. Um, I guess not so much anymore. It kind of, the whole time frame of seasons has kind of shifted. Um, but growing up, you know, that was the thing. You had Christmas parties and Christmas cookies and Christmas fudge and wrapping presents and the holiday cheer and everything and it was just such a wonderful time um, I mean you know for Christmas we would always go to the grandparents 
one or both of them or you know one on Christmas Eve and one on Christmas Day if we lived in Ohio because we moved around an awful lot but um, my parents played Santa Claus for gosh until I was like until I was at least through college for me I mean, you know, they would always put stockings up with gifts and everything, and each one of us would have a present from Santa. And even when I was in college, this happened. So um, it it was always a surprise. It was always fun. Um, we would sit in a circle, and each one person would give out the gifts, and we would each take turns opening. Like I would open something that brother would open something and then my dad would open something you know we just go around in a circle until everybody was out of presence and um, that way you don't like I know some households you just dive in and rip all the paper off and before you know it all your presents are opened and you don't know what everybody else got because you were focused on your pile and it, it's just a madhouse so, you know, us going around in a circle was always, um, the spotlight was on you when you were opening your present, and you would say who it was from, and open it, and ooh and ah, and then the next person would go, and we'd put our uh, wrapping paper in the center, and the bow on top of our head, or a sweater, or whatever. Um, and, um, it was it was like that for forever and you know even when I moved out and got married Christmas was still that magical time because I'd go to my parents and we'd have presents and um, my first hub husband um, loved Christmas so to speak um, we always get a real tree and decorate it um, and it was it was fun it was an enjoyable time that atmosphere that you got from walking around the busy malls and trying to find the right gift for everybody and um, that feeling is just gone for the last couple years um, when my son was here um, we would have him get the most presents and then I would get a few and my husband would get a few but this especially with the pandemic and everything everything shut down and everybody now shops online I was in Walmart just a few days ago and I don't remember seeing any Christmas decorations except for like the garden center where they have all the trees and wrapping paper and that. But there was no holiday buzz. There was no holiday spirit. It was just business as usual. And um, it was kind of depressing. Um, and of course, you know, it, there's no snow. It's warm outside, um, and it's just really hard to get into the spirit, and I miss that. I miss being excited for Christmas. Um, today, because yesterday we put up the tree finally, and um, this is the first year in a long time that I've had a fake tree because me and my son would go to Lowe's and pick out the perfect tree and bring it home and decorate it and everything. And um, he's at um, he's at his own apartment. And I thought, well, you know, it's just me. And my stepson did help. Um, he helped decorate and put up the tree and fluff it out because it comes in a box now. And um, so he was really sweet about it. My husband's not a huge Christmas fan. Um, this is my second husband. Um, so, you know, 
he's kind of like more of the Grinch. And, you know, he doesn't get all the hype about Christmas. Um, and we're to the point where we don't need anything. We don't really want anything. So we don't buy each other Christmas presents. Um, and it just, it's not what it used to be. And I miss that. I miss that magical um, childhood memory. And that's all it is now. It's, it's just a memory. And society has gone the way of, yeah, okay, buy some Christmas presents, it's cool. If not, that's fine. Um, you can't say Merry Christmas, you have to say Happy Holidays in some areas, and it blows my mind. It's, it's Christmas. I mean, one of the major holidays, and this year I'm just not excited about it. I was wrapping presents today. Most of them were for um, my stepdaughter's son. And I mean, there were there were a few for her, and then um, my son. I've picked out some few things, and I keep finding things that I want to buy him for Christmas. And then I remember, okay, my stepson is here, and I've got to, you know, how the parent parents have to keep it even, so both kids get the same amount of presents or whatever. And. Um, so that's going to be interesting. But other than that, I'm just kind of, I'm drained. And I, I don't even believe it's December. Um, it doesn't feel like Christmas. And I mean, you know, it's rainy outside, but it's warm. And it just doesn't feel like Christmas anymore so and I don't know what to do with that but I miss that olden days where it really meant something to to have Christmas and decorate for Christmas and everything and um, we will go down to my parents um, for the weekend before Christmas because you know, we all have so many, so many hectic scheduling issues that the actual Christmas wouldn't work. And um, it's just a unique experience for me. So what are your thoughts? Are you like in your 50s like I am or older? Are you younger? Um, and, you know, what do you think when somebody says it's Christmas time? Does it invoke happiness or excitement? Or do you just think, oh crap, I gotta clean the house for family to come over and put up the tree because the kids want it? And, you know, what do you guys think of Christmas these days? I'd be interested to know. Am I like the only one who is now more of the Grinch and less of the Griswold. So, what's your thoughts? Let me know. Oh, and if you haven't done so already, I know I've only got, you know, like 500 subscribers, but that's where you come in. Hit that subscribe button. Whichever side it's on, because, you know, the camera's always back. You get it, you get it. Okay, so Merry Christmas, everybody. Um, may the Christmas cheer hit you. May it hit me, that would be nice. But um, I will see you later, and I'm sorry. I will try not to be away so long, but bye, guys.